Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Snow Runner, the game that goes on forever, the game that keeps on giving. Um, we are going to, Javius and I, can I do the long logs, Javius? Of course you can. Would you mind if I do those? Okay, cool. And I'm going to change, I'm going to, do we, uh, I suppose I could run the Freightliner. Now we'll run a different truck. We've been running, I'm trying to run different trucks each episode. I haven't really done much with this truck in a while. So let's go ahead and grab this. I love this truck. Um, this is the Western Star. And I think I've got a regular hitch on there. I'll take the long logs if you don't mind. Yeah, don't. I just got to see. Isn't there a medium F uh, log add-on for some trucks? Yes. Uh, this one's not it. I didn't do the right thing. I need to put, I think, oh, no, that's the wrong thing, too. Recover, repair, refuel, remove, recover, uh, customize. I f we need to put that, I think, for the long logs. Don't we have to put that thing on? Yeah, this, the log carrier front. Yes. Yes. I know. We have three missions left. I'm hoping that we can get a Larska done right away. And by the way, Mike and I made a corporate decision today. <laughs> Without Javius's input, he might be upset by this. <laughs> but we've decided to cut... Um, Railroaders, the series off of... Now, we'll continue to do streams, but we're going to cut the uh, YouTube because no one's watching it. So I'm getting... I'm averaging, like, less less than 400 views. And at that point, we just have other things that we need to do. This is for long logs, right? The log carrier rear? Yes. So does that make you sad, Javius? And if it does, I'm sorry. No. Yes, you are, Cameo. You've been faithfully watching them. And so I apologize that that... But I just... I have so many things going on on my plate right now, and it's like I just need to start eliminating some of these series that if people aren't going to watch, then we need to work on things that people are going to watch. I, I need to keep the channel relevant, and it's Mike's fault. That's right. <laughs> oh, yes, because he hates that game. He does. He does. Not love that game, no. He likes it, but he's like, I just, he's like, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm like, no, I get that. Like, it's. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but he doesn't ever play it. Well, that's true. <laughs> right. There's a lot going on with it, and my channel didn't grab, I didn't get on it fast enough. And I think the other thing, too, with it, though I really love the game. It's the same game for everybody. Even if you do things kind of a different way, it's not like we're doing different routes, different. It's all, everybody's got the same 10 engines. Everybody's got the same, you know, dang jobs and the same five places to drop stuff off. And we've all seen it. So it's kind of like the YouTube railroader. We'll continue probably to do it on Twitch here and there because I do like it and I, I, I get in the mood to stream it occasionally. But we're cutting the YouTube series. I'll probably do one more episode saying goodbye. Um, but like with any of those like games, I'd, I'd throw them up there to see how they do. If they do well, awesome. Sometimes they only do well for a little while, and then I just let them go. This road is miserable. I can't even see it anymore. I can't see anything. What's up, Beaver Town? <laughs> how you doing? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I keep, I'm playing hardcore. I have a hardcore game that I play on my laptop and I can't switch it. So I keep forgetting when I come back here that, oh yeah, we can switch that. <laughs> Hello, Fizzy Banks. It will be open multiplayer. Yes. You watch as long as you can until you get bored of trains. <laughs> The one thing I really enjoyed about the game for making videos, it was actually pretty cinematic. Um, it had a really good camera settings and the ability to like drop cameras and like move them around really easily. And I really like that about that game. I, I'm sad. That's one thing that I kind of I'll miss. I'll miss about it. Um, it's really easy to make cool looking videos with it. But like I said, unfortunately, it is kind of a one trick pony. Whereas, like, okay, so once again, another example, Railroads Online does better. And I think the reason being is because everybody builds their railroad differently. So, it's, you know, it's Javis' fault. It's all your fault, Javis. It's fine. Javis is a man who does not, not mind taking the blame. Not the first time, not the last time. 
Boy, I really went the wrong way. I, I should have gone to the... You're on the wrong map. Well, this is where I started. I'm getting the same logs you are. <laughs> I'm just getting them on the map we have to deliver them to. Well, aren't you fancy that you're already there? Well, actually, that's just right. Last <laughs> park the <with> truck. <laughs> just luck, as luck had it. Hey, you got a cameo. Oh, no. I kept looking for you like, where's Javius? He's going to catch me. Nope. Oh. You ain't going to catch me, Javius. I think we got to go this way now. Oh, this is gross. I should have gotten my mud tires. Dang it. Actually, I was, I was incorrect. <sighs> What are you in the mood for? North Carolina is pretty, and I think it looks like it's going to be probably fairly easy. Ontario wasn't too bad at all. Um, Cola looks like a nightmare. So if you're in the mood for a lot, I think the Cola, the Cola Peninsula is snow, isn't it? Like deep snow and like heavy. So it all depends on what you're in the mood for. Oh, this truck actually looks like it's well suited for this. Now that I got these on here. Okay, where are we going? We are going to actually, Mountain I River. I was wrong. I'm not on this same map. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought you had to go some other places to do that. But we're going to go back to the main road and take that. And we're going to stop and get gas. That'd be nice. Oh, are you out of gas? No. Just that's one of the things that never really works for me. Yeah, so There's I would say which do you think is player. Oh <laughs> Which do you think is easier, uh, North Carolina or Ontario? I haven't done much of North Carolina. I can tell you Ontario yeah. was easy, wasn't it? Ontario was the the burned one, right? Yeah, the fire one, yep. I thought that was pretty enjoyable you didn't there was a lot of work to do there's a lot of back and forth because you have to like build towers and then fill them with water and then put fires out using them but um there, it's fun it, it's not a lot of take the same load over the same route 20 times right hello mr Krabs. it's good to see you there's a little bit of crafting but not that's there you not go. the entire thing Correct, yeah. Crafting. Yeah, you, there's a little bit of crafting, but you don't have to do a ton of it. Hey, country boy! And you get the dairy special there, and it is special. So. Yeah, I've been playing a hardcore game. Uh, I'm on... I'm still on Michigan. I've got most of the first map completed. I did end up selling the GMC and picking up the, the Paystar... I early on in the game I took the scout and I went and rescued uh, the big truck the P16 I think it is so right away I had uh, you know I started pulling trucks out and stuff like that but I found that it's just it's so big it gets stuck on everything and it's too big for some of the paths so I ended up selling it for the Paystar and the Paystar has been phenomenal I forgot what a great truck that is little bit ginger on some of the things like if you I found that if you have the trailer bed on it like the flatbed not the not the semi trailer but the flatbed trailer the two slaughter that actually causes it to take spring damage it's weird when you take it off and you use just like a regular trailer it doesn't have any damage so um, but it, I, I, I didn't put the race suspension on I kept it low to the ground and used the wider tires and uh, it's, it hasn't been... I've had one tip over with it, and it was my fault. I, I fell into a, a lake sideways. Like, I got too close to the edge. So. Today was a mixed bag for me. Um, just got some stuff going on here at home, but I think I got some things resolved that I needed to, so the stress is off a little bit. I think a lot of people pick the White Western Star over the Paystar. 
Now, I didn't get to use the White Western Star much, but I am going to keep it on this playthrough, so I'll, I'll be using it more this time. My impression was, of it was, the, the time that I used it, was that it's great, but it's fragile. Um, at least that's my thought on it. It seemed like it broke pretty easily. I don't remember that, it breaking real easily. I just remember it being a little better version of the Freightliner. Now, you couldn't do the yes. crane in the bed in a trailer, but... Oh. It, uh, I just thought it performed a little better. Not quite as bouncy and tippy. Correct. The Freightliner. The Freightliner, or you mean the, the... Not the Freightliner. Yeah, Very the, the Fleet Star. Fleet Star. Sorry, my bad. Now, this is weird. I don't know why I picked the regular transmission on this over the... The speed transmission. You really don't want high speed on these icy roads, even. With no, the that's tires. yeah. I don't. I don't know why I got the didn't. I don't, I'm just surprised I didn't pick the the snow runner transmission. I really wish I had it. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the road. I'm gonna get stuck. The chains are not great in this mud. And I bogged. This section is really bad. Nope. Can we just connect to something that actually makes sense, please? Like that telephone pole way up there that's actually going to hold the weight of the truck and pull me some distance before I have to redo it. <laughs> well part of it is I try to make it so that we have a bunch of different trucks to see I don't want to use the same truck for every episode yes there are certain trucks that I could just go to to get every job done you know like my go to truck for this if I wanted to just get it done would probably not be this truck but <laughs> something with larger wheels You're using the Antarctic for long logs. <laughs> the Quappa. <laughs> I'm in the Quappa. All right. There we go. There you go. <laughs> oh, man, that's tough, dude. Well, we're glad to have you for the time that you're here, Mr. Quabs. Oh, the Azov would be nice, yeah. What uh, do any of those single single bed trucks allow, like long logs, like the? I know the twin steer doesn't. Whoa. Gotta be careful. A little, a little too fast there for my comfort. Gotta watch those rocks. Well, this is a very bouncy truck. It <laughs> doing. Ah, Zakenveth. 5600 does? Okay. Oh, look, we're passing right where we started with our logs. Okay, so the 5600 can do long ones. Okay. So if we did, you could... That would be a good choice, yeah. Yeah, this truck has a lot of spring in its step. How's your... Did you have to go to the other map, uh, Javius? Yes. 
I guess I think I'm on White River. This map that I the, the first the first one. No, that's Northport. Oh, okay. White River is the one that has the two log stations. Yes, the airport on it. This truck looks yeah. well suited to these logs. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, this truck looks goofy with this giant medium log bunk on it. <laughs> it's very bouncy in real life too. Okay, <laughs> I bet. It just to the sawmill. Is this the right exit, though? Am I going up to the right exit? No, I gotta go to the next one. Okay, so don't go out here. Go to the left. To the left. To the right. I don't know. It might be shorter to go to the right because the tunnel you come through into. The map I just left is right by the portal to come. It's very close to where you got to take the logs to. Oh, so you think it's better to just go through White River first? Or yes. whatever this is, Pedro Bay. Is it Pedro Bay? No, not Pedro Bay. I'm coming up to White Valley. Yes. Because you go into White Valley... You follow the road, you take your first left, and you're, then you can take the portal into... Oh, okay. I will do that um, then. Mountain River. I've never driven to Western Star before. Maybe I should drive for Swift. Hey, what's up? What's up? How you doing, Red Alpha? Kenworth man yourself? Yeah. For over the road, I think Kenworth and Peterbilt are the two. The two biggins. The ones that everybody loves. Ah. Oh, yeah. White Valley. Oh, it's like my truck's covered with frost now. That's pretty sweet. So if you look at the map. Yes. You'll see right that the portal is right. Oh, geez, it is right there. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> and that puts you on the short side, the quick, quick route to the sawmill on the next map. Oh, the T680 is the new T680. I didn't like the old 680, but the new one is awesome. It looks really good. And I saw the hunt. The, the ATS has that hundred anniversary, anniversary one. We are going to play it with that at some point this week because that thing is awesome. Really, the uh, ones in the game. Yep, it's awesome. Yours is a 23, okay, problem, yep. Okay. My biggest problem was the, but the old one, this all sounds stupid, but that's me. The dashboard, the like instrument panel lights, even when you turn them on, it's very... Like dim? They, you can't really see them, and I always found the gauges hard to read. Oh, Mr. Krabs would have been playing bass at work. I'd bring my acoustic guitar to work. I'd get in trouble. Uh, company, hang on, see what teasing. Red Alpha said he was doing Sniper Elite 4. Oh, you've been, get, we got you. We got you this weekend, didn't we? <laughs> you've done more than we have, so it's <laughs> Colonel Red 5. Yes, sir, Colonel, sir. Ooh. 
uh oh, are we going to have a pissing match about trucks now? <laughs> I personally, I personally like the, uh, yeah. I like the cab of the Western Star and the dash, like the the dial dashes, like the the gauges and stuff. For me, are, I like the Western Star and the, the the way that the cabin's laid out. It's it's pretty cool. But the T six eighty definitely gives it a run for the money. Isn't the Western Star? Isn't that one of the Mercedes brands? I don't know. I know Western Star would definitely be um, like more work or like work site oriented and like heavy haulage oriented than you know. Whereas the T six eighty is going to be more like over the road type stuff. You know, freeway aimed at freeway drivers, which would explain the 10 speed also. Oh, hello! How are you doing, sir? I hope... I wonder if Mikey didn't get our text or something, because... Hey, j -Wah. There you go. <laughs> You're going to tell me not to play my guitar? Get out. <laughs> On acoustic bass. How does it sound? Can you actually hear the frequencies? I always wondered that. Okay, Freightliner and Western Star are owned by Mercedes. Let me shoot out to Mr. Micah one more time. He was on that text. I just looked. <laughs> He'll join when he can. No, that is... Thanks, that was not... Uh, that was... Though. That was not my tune there, but I can play that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's playing Hell Diver. Hell's, Hell's Bells. Okay, so we, <laughs> like, uh, it's been too long of a day. Okay, Order Supreme. Great. So we need to go. Is this more logs? No, oversized cargo to factory, oversized cargo to warehouse. Both on the map that we are on. Um, and we're going to have... Is there a garage on this map? Nope. Okay. Um, Those are both drop-offs, uh, and the pickup is... So we'll start with those. Somewhere else. And right, those are, so like, those are four slotters? I think so. I can look. Oversize is a four slaughter. Okay, so we need to. I'll, we'll pull it with the trailer, but I'm gonna have to take this truck back, which isn't a big deal. We didn't come very far. Hang on, White Valley. That's where we want to go. With. All right. Though honestly, the Northport is not that much further. <laughs> uh, but this comes out closer. We need more Forza. Uh, we'll see. I'm trying to pare down right now on the things that I'm doing because I've just got too much going on. Though, for streams, it's not as big of a deal. Because you guys, it's about hanging out, so. Let's see, I have a acoustic kick stream to do somewhere. Yeah, because, you know, it's like I've, I have I play bass. I have I have a, a five-string Yamaha 1980s. The same, the same bass. Uh, yeah, I love the paint job, thanks. Um, it's Colonel Red Alpha to you, j Wah. <laughs> Um, it's the same bass that Mr. Mister uses like in his videos when you see him playing bass it's that Yamaha with the big pickups but anyway uh, I've never played an actual acoustic I've always wondered because you know in the 80s like some of the heavy metal bands when the when the acoustic set hit and they're like oh we, need, we all need to do acoustic sets well then the bass player well he needed an acoustic instrument too so they all whipped out the 80s uh, acoustic basses, but uh, I didn't. Um, I've never actually played or heard one in person, you know. So it seems like they would be fun to play, but that you wouldn't hear them much. It is and isn't, Jay Watt. So guitar has two modes, really. It has the type where you play chords to like play songs, and then it has like if you're a lead guitar player. You're playing single notes, 
Um, so you have two different things, whereas bass, mostly you're playing single notes. I would say it's probably a hair easier to learn because you just have to learn where the notes are and how to push them down. And then obviously, so with your left hand you push and with your right hand you pluck. Um, but, you know, if you really want to learn to play well, you have to learn scales and stuff like that and, and um, to make it interesting. And then real good bass players also do things like popping and slapping, which is where they, you know, when you hear like, for example, the famous Night Court song where he's like, burr, 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 <laughs> you get the pop and slap going on and that uh that takes a little bit more skill there's some guys that are really good that's right bass players aren't invited to after parties <laughs> the poor bass player yeah they usually get left out of all that stuff so uh-oh yep so we have to go port huh to get them no i'm in you could pick it up at the airport in White Valley. Oh, they were. It was at the airport. White Valley, right behind the garage. Oh, okay. But the nearest, I still need to change over my trailer. So, yeah, I'll do that and I'll come back and get it. Yeah, Primus, right? <laughs> he does that weird. He has that weird fretless bass though too, and that makes it. A little more, a little more than just even popping and slapping. He takes it to the next level. So fretless bass is like, with pop and slap, is probably the most technical bass that you can get. There you go. Yeah, it's so similar on the bass. It's just the the frets work like keys on a piano. So, see MTV unplugged. Yep, that was the era. <laughs> oh, ooh, I almost hit that rock. Okay, all right, yep. I've always wanted one of those Taylor 8-string baritone guitars. That, to me, looks really cool. It's an acoustic guitar that's, it tunes lower than a standard acoustic by about four steps. And then it has two sympathetic strings in the middle. And so it, those two strings, it kind of plays like a 12-string. You, you only... You play the same fingerings as you would on a six string, but it's got those extra two strings to give it some high end sparkle when you're strumming. And no, it's not. It's the same as playing a six string, except for they're heavier strings because obviously you're playing, you know, it's a, they're lower tunings. But um, they would actually be softer to push. So it's uh, pretty neat. Uh, pretty neat. So now they have eight-string basses and eight-string guitars, and those are, or six-string basses and eight-string guitars. They, it, you're starting to get a little more difficult, and it, they, they handle differently because the neck's a lot wider. So, oh, there you go. Yeah, I, my primary instrument's definitely the electric guitar. A secondary would be acoustic. Tertiary, well, I mean, bass is included in those with the electric because it's bass is easy. Like dual neck guitars, Jay. Yeah, those are more of a gimmick. Usually, what they do is they put a uh, twelve string on the top neck and a six string on the bottom, so you can get two different sounds out of it. They sound cool. Oh, ow. Um. Yeah, they, uh, like, I think of the the beginning of, like, uh, oh, what song is that? Bringing on a heart, heartache from Def Leppard. That's that, that, uh, he's got a twin neck. Um, and, uh, it's got a, it's got, the top neck is, it's by Gibson, and the top neck is a, um, is a 12. And that's that sound that he uses in that song, that, the do, 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 like the very beginning of it. Um, that's that is the awesome oh it's a it's a gibson sg that it's based on i can't think of what they did, did zz top use i don't think zz top used dual neck guitars did they 
I don't remember that, but maybe they did. I don't. I wasn't a huge ZZ Top fan, but I do. I guess. You, I guess you're right. I just remember they always would spin their guitars on their belt buckle, which always made me crack up. Let's see, settle low. There we go. Currently based. There you go. Yep. Mostly an SG. Yeah, SG is what I remember him playing. And the Strat, yeah. Everybody's crazy about a shop dressed man. <laughs> I'm coming back to White Mountain. How far are you already almost done, Javius? No. Okay, good. I just stop and let the dog go. Oh, well, maybe I'll catch you then. My wife is uh, under the weather, so. Aww. Deal with the dog. You're on Northport? Yeah, I had to get a trailer. Don't bother trying to catch me. <laughs> What's up, Joe Mama? All right. Yeah, he's a great guitar player. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't play bass, does he? Ah, well, we are closed session tonight because this is a recording for YouTube, but occasionally we do do open session, just not tonight. I apologize. You're like, bummer. There will be people out there for sure. See, now, I don't know anything about Joe Walsh. I, we saw Joe Walsh when I was a kid at an Indians game. I guess he's from the Cleveland area. And uh, I, it, it didn't mean it. I, I've, I'd never heard of him before, and I don't think I've ever heard of anything from him ever since. But I know people like Joe Walsh. I don't. I don't even know what kind of music he does. Like, uh, did I go the right way? I feel like, oh yeah, we did. And I feel like this is, oh no, I, I recognize this. Hugh Dodo? <laughs> yes, the Eagles, yes. Okay, he was in the Eagles. Oh, that Joe Walsh. Yeah, I guess that would be, yeah. Okay, so I never heard of it. I never heard any of his solo stuff. But like I said, he did. I just remember going to the Indians game and then Joe Walsh played afterwards. And like my friend's dad just loved it, but he was smashed out of his face. And then um, <laughs> it, it, to me, it just it was like the, the sound was so bad. Like it because, <laughs> you know, it's not it's like a huge like open air on uh, uh, arena. So they'd hit the drums and it was like so it was just like all this like you couldn't hear anything it just was like this mass of noise um, that, that might have been my first rock concert because I think I was only like 8 or 9 years old um, it was a Joe Walsh concert <laughs> I know nothing about him poor Joe was he a guitar player? Which, of course, you know, they were, their guitar players were phenomenal. Okay, so we got to go all over there. So basically, just follow the main road, right? You got to go, yeah, all the way down to the airport. So when you say all night long, do you mean like, no, that's not that. Rocky Mountain Way, no. Life's been good, no. Oh my god, and you call yourself a musician? I, I know these songs. Dang, I don't know any of those. I was gonna say all night long, baby, but then I'm like, no, it's all right now. All right now, baby, it's all right now. That's a different that's not Joe Walsh. <sighs> 
Sorry, Joe. I've let you down. Okay. I know. Obviously, I know. Rocky Mountain Way is phenomenal. I'll have to check it out. I probably hated it as a kid and would like it now as an adult, so. <laughs> hey, I'm a child of the 80s, really. I mean, I grew up, that stuff was like 70s, so it wasn't really, I heard it, but I didn't really, you know, I didn't start getting into music until people had really long hair and were like, Whoa! and that was, that was my era, so. The glam band era is when I was a teenager. Most of the bands I didn't like, but I liked some of them. Like Cinderella, they were okay. I like Nobody's Fool. It's a good song. Yeah, you said I'm 21, so where's your, what's your excuse? <laughs> I'm just saying I had other music that I was listening to. Uh... Probably more it was that I didn't, you know, I didn't, I grew up with my mom and my grandma. So, like, my mom's idea of rock and music was like Carly Simon. So, you know, she's listening to, to Barry Manilow, and, and <laughs> that's what I heard when I was young, you know. And, and so it's like my, I didn't start discovering rock and roll until I was, you know, in my teenage years. And so I think what happened was nobody around me was listening to that stuff, and so I just never really picked up on it. No, not, no, not Motorhead or Sabbath. No, I know, I know, I know. I grew up on the, on Winger, <laughs> Def Leppard. <laughs> and then 80s pop, you know, I really liked, you know, 80s pop was kind of, you know, I like Tears for Fears and I really like Brian Adams and U2 and U2 was later. That was when I was in college. I went back and liked you too. I was like, oh, I didn't like them when they were popular, but now I like them. Yeah, Sabbath was a little seven. No, I, I've heard their stuff, and I, I don't mind it. It's not that it's bad or anything. I just kind of how nostalgic stuff is because you grew up listening to it. A lot of the stuff that's newer, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. I, I don't know if I would go after it to listen to, but sometimes I find things that are like that. So now, so ro 70s rock, yeah, I just, I missed a lot of it, sadly. I'm at the airport. Nickelback. Why does Nick, I don't know anything about Nickelback. Why do they get such a bad rap? I don't know, but they make some good songs. Do they? I, I've not, I don't think I've ever heard a Nickelback song. Nineties grunge. There you go. I liked a lot of grunge bands too. I was in a grunge band. I did too. My first two albums that I bought with my own money were the Eagles and Kiss. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm surprised we haven't heard from Mike. Maybe his phone died or something. I don't know. Or maybe he got pulled into a friend match. Yeah, I've had fun on Helldivers. It's been great. I've played my fair shit. Just because I don't like competitive multiplayer doesn't mean I don't like co-op multiplayer shooters. Or that I'm bad at them either. I'm actually not terrible. Though I did get my butt kicked by robots last night. What's up, cameo? You <laughs> got to hell level 30 already, jeez. I just started. Oversized cargo. Mark got it for me on Thursday of last week, and since then I've been able to play it three times, and I've played it way longer than I should have. Oh, there's a... We could just take this down the runway and launch it. If only. Do it 
a six point turn here just to turn right. I know, I'm trying to get, I gotta turn. So what map do I need to go to now? Same one we were on before. So the one to the right, Mountain River. You need to go okay. all the way back up, but out the other portal. <laughs> Jason, yes, send it. Yeah, I think I, I finally made like level eight last night. <laughs> Wait, who did you go to? See? Who did you go to see? Nickelback? Oh, Nickelback. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's close. Yeah, from what I've seen, they seem like they're a good band. It's like it's not like their music was bad or anything. I thought they were pretty decent. I don't know why people hate them so much. But like if you like Winger, like Winger got that too. They they just got hated on because they were wusses. They're pretty boys, but they were the guitar player Red Beach was actually phenomenal. And he does a lot of like Alan Holdsworth type guitar playing and just really pretty lines. Um, great guitar player and sinking Backstreet Boys. Rare samples, huh? Nickelback? I, did they get overplayed? I don't... Did they ever even get on the radio? Gosh. That I don't know because I, I never listened to the radio. Yeah, I stopped listening to radio. Once CDs came out and you could put MP3s on them, that was pretty much it for the radio. I could listen to whatever I want. Well, screw the ads. No. Uh, Stop listening to radio in the nineties. Oh, 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 God! I had a job where I was driving oh. a lot. Nice one. And Did... uh, in, both in and out of my local area. Yeah. But first, it first started because I moved from California to upstate New York. Okay. And listening to New York radio in upstate New York was like these guys are freaking terrible. Okay. Compared to what I what was on the radio in California. Okay. <laughs> but then when I started driving all over the place and I lose my radio station, I ended up buying satellite radio. Okay. And I used satellite radio until streaming apps came around. Oh, that's cool, Mr. Krabs. Meatloaf slash. <laughs> Don Fiedler. Are you a speed wagon? There you go. I'm just stopping at gas. Almost missed that. Look at that. I'm terrible driving tonight. This is what I'm reading as I'm trying to drive. Ooh, that'd be cool to see the sticks. Yeah. Okay, they have a song called Photograph. Oh, interesting. And Yoda said, yes, they were overplayed. Meatloaf is good. I'm not a huge meatloaf fan. I don't dislike meatloaf, but I also I wouldn't like go out to purposely listen to meatloaf music. There's only one good song. Yeah, do you, what is it, the I Would Do Anything for Love or whatever? <laughs> Some people love meatloaf. I'm not, it's their, they weren't my thing. Concrete slab. Yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of meatloaf cameo. You mean bad out of heck? I'm just kidding. All right. Well, this certainly was the road trip, wasn't it? Oh. 
Ugh. Crash. You be able to. You need a concrete slab and a, and a concrete block to take to Pedro Bay. Okay. Ooh, Soldier Field. SnowRunner definitely is a lot of road trips. This one's very roady, though, like a lot of street driving, which is nice. Let's get to move along at a good pace and not get frustrated. Come on. Come on, baby. Excuse me. So after this, we just have one more mission. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, it's more logs. My favorite band of all time. Good lord. <sighs> I got to think about that, Jay. I would say probably musically most influential and probably most listened to would be Def Leppard. Embarrassingly, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. That'd be for me. I just, there, the guitar sound was so different than anybody else. Everybody else was just playing, you know, palm muted chords and... Def Leppard was the two guys working together to make some amazingly huge orchestral sound. They just were really good at it, so. Prince! Wow! Most talented musician, Prince. Yeah, he could. I don't know if he was the most. He, he was a great songwriter, though, and a great entertainer. And a good singer. And a good guitar player. And a good pianist. Um, that's a tough one because there's so many different kinds of music. Um, so it's hard to say that who, the, who was the most creative musician of all time. And there's lots of guys who are really, really good at their instruments that do things that nobody else can do. Um, um, that nobody even really knows of. You know what I mean? They're like obscure. Like, once again, Alan Holdsworth pretty much defined the, the rock guitar sound of the 80s and 90s. Um, pretty much everyone copied him, and nobody even really knows who he was. He's got some obscure music and worked with some obscure bands, and he was just an insanely talented guitar player. Um, but no one knows about him. So people are starting to now, and I think he passed away pretty young. I think he drank himself to death uh, maybe ten, five or ten years ago. And people are starting to realize his genius now, but he really, like, like everybody, like from from Van Halen to to you know Satriani to to Paul Gilbert to to all these guys, they all they all uh, attribute you know like their a lot of their their licks and stuff to Ellen Holdsworth. So you know, so there's an example of somebody who just he just does one thing. He's a guitar player, but he's extremely influential. So Steve Ray Vaughan was insane talent. Yep. He really was. Oh my gosh. Uh, why did they do this to us, Javius? Because you thought it was going to be easy. Okay, I could pick something up here. Factory stock loading. These are all going to Pedro Bay.
What map? What map are we on right now? You're on Mountain River. It says so right on your screen. Mountain. I'm looking for. Oh, Mountain River. The big text right in front of me. Yeah. Um, Pedro Bay is in the up go up their left corner. Is how you get there. Okay. And yeah, what can I get here? I'm pretty sure you have blocks and slabs available on that map. Yes. There's also metal beams. Concrete slab and cement. How many slots is that? Three? Yep. Okay, so I might as well just do that because... And this holds five, so I can get metal beams here and then those there. So I'll do that. Oh, what are we doing? Why are we, why are we doing this? There. La, la, la. Oh, we can see again. Yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan really was an amazing guitar player. Once again, there's so you get it, guys. Was he the best musician of all time, though? I don't know. Probably somebody like Mozart or something like that. I don't know. Insanely talented writer could just hear entire, you know, pieces of music in their head. What are we going to grab? What are we going to get? <sighs> Why isn't it letting me pick stuff up? Come on. What the heck? What is going on? Oh, there. We just wasn't far enough back. Okay. Yep, it was back further. That was just a couple inches, but... So we need to go up this road. It's going to be left and then right. Okay. Hey, what's up, Patchwork? Yeah, it's right, Jay. The back wheels weren't all the way in the box. That was my problem. Kerthunk. Kerthunk. I know. Okay. I'm so you are, feeling that got too. Got the metal beams. Got the metal beams. And then what do you? You're gonna pick up a, a slab and a cement. A slab and a cement. That's correct. So I just need a slab and a cement. You need a slab and a cement. I don't need a semi for that. Boom. So now we gotta go down this hill. Patrick's like, I'm falling. I fell asleep. I'm so mad. I fell asleep the other night, and I dropped my iPad off the bed, and it cracked. I'm just like, oh. Okay, so what I do, Jay, I have a, if you have a widescreen monitor, like a super wide, like what we're doing, I actually just, uh, man, there's something you have to do in OBS, and then I just set it to stream at 1080. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can stream higher if you want. I just picked 1080 because I also record. I didn't want to tax the system. So. But, uh, yeah, you can do that. But uh, there's something you have to, like, fit to window or something like that. It's some weird setting that you have to do. But you can do it. Speaking of which, I should probably turn my preview off so it's not chopping. There's cement in that spot as well. Oof. Here at the warehouse? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Let me check. Cement. And concrete slab. Okay, there there we go. There, Give me one second. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, well, good morning, 44. <laughs> We're finishing up Alaska tonight. I have not set your camera yet. I apologize. It's going to be Thursday. I have to, I got a, a couple things I got to do and I have to get a box and I'm going to the store on Wednesday to get it. So I'm going to get a shipping box for it so it doesn't get smooshed up. So I apologize for the delay, but it will be going out shortly. All right. I'm sorry. I wanted to send it today, but things have just gotten kind of crazy. And I got the realtor coming Wednesday morning. So once that's over with, things will kind of calm down. Well, actually, they probably won't, but I'll at least know, I'll know where, where, what we're dealing with. After the stream tonight, I'm going to be cleaning. <laughs> I'm going to get my basement's not too much of a mess here on this side of it. So I'm going to get this cleaned. Get the shop back down here and suck up some dirt. And then mop. What's up, Darth Specter? Everyone's coming in late. I tried to get Mike in, but he's playing Helldivers and he's not responding, so he must be in with a group of people. Ooh. Very nice. All right, this truck is, this is a really steep climb, and we are pulling quite a load. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's too busy spreading to manage democracy. Managed, I love it. It's like managed health care. Oh my gosh. How long did it take you, 44? You said, oh, yay. All right, I think we went to the right place. Let me just double check. Yep, gateway to Pedro. And he's buying a tunnel to Pedro Bay, Alaska, USA. This map sucks. Okay, where are we going with this? Probably the, the opposite side, right? Everything has to be... Okay, got the trailer store. Three different locations. Let's see. I'm, I have things for the warehouse loading. Wait, fat, no, no. What's warehouse loading? Oh, there's stuff to pick up at the trailer store. That's weird. Gooseneck, oh, there's a gooseneck semi-trailer with metal already. Interesting, I see. Um, stock loading, I, so I've got, I'll take the stuff to the factory and the warehouse because they're near each other and I've got the two trailers. Is that cool? Yep. All right. So we're going to go through that and then turn left. Sounds like a hard start there. I know, I love the 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 wolves in Alaska. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Mud hornets. Does that break? No, okay. Uh, it looks like it's going to break. Nice for somebody to leave this here. Probably either Javius or Micah left that. I'm not that considerate. That would definitely be a Micah thing. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing here? This is going to be a right turn. Okay. Turning to the right. To the right. To the left.
You hit the planet, planet Hellmeyer. Nice. Nanu Nanu. My name is Ork. Mork, and I'm from Ork. Mork from Ork. Okay, and we're going to go straight back. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I used to watch Mork and Mindy. I liked it. That's why I really like the Renegade, the Jeep Renegade that's in this game. That was Mindy's Jeep. She had the green one with the yellow, the orange and yellow paint on it. Shazbot. It was an interesting show, definitely. Did you did you watch that growing up, Javius? Yes. Mindy was the eighties version of Marianne. Oh, from uh Gilligan's from uh, Island. Yeah. The girl that you were in love with as a child. Not the overtly sexy one, but Right. Just the same. Yeah, she was she was super cute. Of course, I don't want to go back and look at her now with that memory of the. Right. I'm sure. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you're out there, Dar Specter. Keep Earth safe and sell the managed democracy. Oh, man. I knew this road was going to throw this kind of stuff at us. We had such a good run all the way until now. Man, this is going to be an hour-long episode. No wonder people don't... I mean, we get a lot of people watching these. I'm surprised how many people actually do watch these, but... <laughs> Gilligan's Island is terrible, but it is funny. Uh, thank you for your virtual service. If only it was worth something <laughs> in real life. <laughs> do 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 do. You liked Gilligan's Island, yeah. I remember liking it, but not loving it as a kid. But I loved chips. Oh yes, I loved chips. Stultman. <laughs> Over a hundred times. There we go. Okay, so that's that's done. And I, yep, I love chips. I love Danny Griffith. Yeah, we talked about him the other night. Happy days. Yeah, no chips was <laughs> so dumb. Like watching it now, but I loved it. And it's so it's still cheesy. what I like about chips even now. Just seeing the cool old cars. Like cars were so different then. For for oh, better or for worse. Look, look at the trucks. Oh, John's pickup John's trucks. truck, freaking Not awesome. The pickup trucks. Oh, the semi trucks. Oh yeah. Yes. Like the old Fords and stuff like that, like the little flat front. Uh -huh. They've got an episode that's got a GMC, uh, the 9800 in it. I was like, oh my god, that's a 9800. But those old, like really small, like the low the low cab Fords. You know what I'm talking about, Javius? Yeah. They had like the big metal grill. Or the metal bumper. They almost look like they were made. They were probably made in the 50s. I think 60s, but yeah. 60s, okay. There's an episode that has like a Ford F750 in it, and that thing is huge. Like when you see it in real life, they're enormous. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jay Watson, who didn't like Marianne? Oh, there's another one. Cahill. Oh, I was in love with Cahill as a 12-year-old. She's the officer, the girl officer from Chips. And then what was the other girl's name? Cindy, the blonde girl. What was funny is she was actually, she portrayed a criminal in uh, one of the early episodes, and then she came back as a police officer later. She was pretty, but a little too pretty. I like Cahill. I like a little bit plainer. Are you, there you go, grab life. <laughs> I never saw Love Boat. I, my mom wouldn't let me watch that. It was too adult. <laughs> the Love Boat. Wait, wait. Punch and John. I know, I know. Chicks on chips. Go figure. Far less tame than the Love I, Boat. I know. Far, yes. I know. The Love Boat was much oh, more mom friendly. <laughs> Chips was not friendly at all. I know. Uh, okay, we got two tasks here that aren't done. Uh, Micah was doing a good job of getting those. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with dreams of the 80s, we thank you for joining us and listening to us banter about 80s music and 80s TV shows. We are going to end this episode. We have, it looks like, I thought we had one mission left, but it's still, well, no, we're still doing this one. We really do have one Oh, wow. It's a logging mission. One mission left. Um, along with two small, but I'm not too worried about these. If I can get these, I'll get them. But I'm going to try to grab these right now and see if we can get them done. There's also, it seemed like, oh, yeah, lost tools. Like, But once again, we're trying to get through the main story mission so we can move on to the next map. Because otherwise, we're going to be here for years. So um, anyway, have a good night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Always help. Those of you watching on Twitch, hang out. We're not leaving yet. Javis, you want to say good night? Good night. Good night.